Good morning. It's like almost 11 o'clock now, I guess. But <laughs> I'm gonna go work on a couple things today. I'm on a different hat. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Accidentally hit the zoom. <laughs> so yeah, what we're gonna do today is pull out our old sprayer and see if we can get it working on the tractor. So that's what I'll be doing. So anyways, I guess I'll see you when I get out there. I guess while I'm on my way out here, I'll show you. We got a pretty good rain last night. Everything seems to be perking up. The lettuce is a little overgrown at this point, but the beans perked up pretty good. Yeah, weeds and all. <laughs> beans over there are doing really well planted those second but the hay field really parked up at least this one did drive up here and show you this yeah that's about a yeah it's a good inch or two taller than it was yesterday already I did bush hog the outside rounds so I don't hit anything with the sickle bar. Over there, I got in there pretty, I got in up close pretty good. Well, yeah, it's coming back really nice. The yard needs a cut, but we, John Deere should be coming with that loaner mower today. Well, I guess I'll see you at the barn. Also, I'm gonna tag into this video. This weed is all over my hay field. So, I do know what it is, and I do know that 2,4-D will kill it, but if anybody has any other recommendations on what to kill it with without killing my orchard grass, then that'd be much appreciated. So just leave in the comments, I'll take a look. This haystack is a death trap. I don't know what the heck those guys are thinking. I don't even know what lives in there. See that little piece of grass there? Probably some hornets or something. Oh, excuse my French. I have to edit that out. <laughs> but yeah. Hiding behind this old tire is the sprayer. You can see the bottle back there. I don't even know what this tire goes to. Probably the wagon. Some old fertilizer back there. There she be. So... Guess I gotta drag that thing out of there. Looks like I got plenty of room. Guess I can unplug the fan for a second. I don't know what this went to. Probably the sprayer as well. That's not the boom though, is it? I hope that's not the boom. If so, it's destroyed. I hope that's not the sprayer boom right there. He's this. Yeah. That'll be bad. Yeah, that's a good tire if anybody wants to buy that, but probably not. Because it's junk. Well, I guess I'll leave you right here on this buoy unit. These are stored. And I'll see if I can yank this thing out of here. I think I found all the pieces. I don't think there's any more crap laying in here that belongs to it. Some old trash cans back there. This is the cap to dad's truck. I don't see any more bits of it. Oh lord, the death trap. I'm getting away. I'm moving away. It falls and crushes our equipment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Well, we got it finished. It's strapped on there pretty good. Got the had to run and get new parts for this because the old ones broke off and all that crap. These are the originals still because they were still together. We got all new ones. They're plastic, probably made in China. I think these are China as well. And then, uh, so yeah, this works. It works good, so we're going to load it up uh, tomorrow and do some spraying with it, so I'll probably continue this video tomorrow with the spraying, so yeah, when we're mixing up this stuff, <laughs> what I don't get is Dad told me to use one jug on one field over the other. I don't think he realizes that they're both the same mix. 15 o 15 o L. They're the exact same thing. So yeah, put the lid on it and go do some spraying. Here we are spraying. Get her done. Hopefully we'll get a lot of these leads off before the next, uh, so, yeah, guess we'll see when we're done. Yeah, we just finished up uh, with the fields. That one jug of spray we got, uh, I don't know why Dad bought that one because it was weak. We sprayed it on the other, on the bigger field, and 2.5 gallons to 15 gallons of water for that stuff. The stuff that we put on this field, it was the same exact stuff. 1500, 15-0-0, and. But apparently it was a much stronger brew of it because it was three quarters of a gallon to, uh, of chemicals to 15 gallons of water. So yeah, same ratio really of chemical to the, the gr of the chemical it was being put to the ground. But I hope it doesn't kill my orchard because it said for Bent grass, Bermuda, bluegrass, and fescue. But I think, I, I don't know if orchard's a bluegrass or not. I think it is. I hope it doesn't kill it though. I really hope it doesn't. So, anyway, I guess that's it for this video. <clears throat> Make sure to subscribe for more. Uh, content on the farm <clears throat> and thanks for watching